what sucks is that when I did leave and what gave me a little bit of the power to leave is I started dating a guy. I told him the situation I was in and then he was like, oh, let me be your knight in shining armor. Captain save ho Captain save ho <laughs> And then so basically I went from the pimp situation into dating this guy who actually ended up being abusive. So it wasn't that best situation. And I stopped working. And this was another life lesson for me. It took me twice to learn this, though. I won't lie. It took me two different relationships where they were like, I want to take care of you. I don't want you to work. So I stopped stripping. I stopped recording, of course. And then things didn't work out. And guess what happened? I was thrown out on my ass, you know, Mm -hmm. with zero, you know. So that's why I'm not afraid to like ever start over or have to do things over again because I've been through it, you know, like, and that's also why I don't rely on a man anymore. I learned never, ever stop working for a man. Whatever passions you have, whatever job you have, keep that going. Don't ever stop anything for a man because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. You never know if he's going to find another girl or just be not interested anymore. And then you're just left with nothing. And I have so many girlfriends that that's happened to as well. 